Marty Brodeur, it's Steve and Chico upstairs. Congratulations. Oh. How does this feel? Feels pretty good. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I thought, Chico, you were going to come at least say hi downstairs. <laughs> well, why did I want to jump out of the... I'm pool? just kidding. I'm, oh, I'm just telling you. I don't know. We had a shot of your dad. I don't know if he had tears in his eyes. I had goosebumps. I mean, Marty, the fans, just the whole night. But but let me settle down here because I could ask you 50 questions at once. When did it start to feel like a normal game or did it ever? Uh, you know what? Uh, when the puck dropped, it was it was fine. You know, I think maybe I got a little butterfly late in the game. You know, when the when we scored the third goal, I was like, all right, this is uh, this could be it. You know, but because the game was so tight so long that I didn't, you know, I didn't start, you know, uh, thinking outside the box. You know, I really wanted to make sure I was a uh, was on my game. You told the story of when you first won the cup in '95. How you'll never forget that final minute. You were looking all over the ice, even to the stands, every now and then. I'm wondering, in that final minute, did you ever make eye contact with your father or anyone else special in your life who's in the building? Oh, the only one, the only one I knew where he was sitting was my dad. So mm. <laughs> he had a pretty good seat, so definitely uh, I glanced at him a couple of times, you know, and. Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a great day, you know, definitely for me to, to be able to uh, clinch uh, this, uh, you know, time, Patrick, uh, in Montreal was uh, an exciting time for me. Well, you know, Marty, you will ever be joined in when you talk about Marty Brodeur. You'll probably mention Patrick Law somewhere in the story. Now, of course, you and Patrick met this morning. I don't know if you want to share with us uh, what happened then, but did you get to see him after the game at all? Uh, no, you know, I think it's uh, definitely tough for him with uh, all the media down here and all that. Uh, and that's why he came to the hotel this morning. We had a good half-hour conversation about uh, a lot of different things, about uh, what was going to happen tonight a little bit. And definitely appreciated, uh, you know, his time. He, he was playing, uh, his junior team was playing about six, seven hours away from here last night. And, you know, 9.30, he was meeting me in Montreal. <laughs> so it's a pretty nice commitment from him to do that. Is Have one of the people you've met already uh Patrick Wall, one of them, and if so, can you share anything that he might have told you, Marty? Uh, you know, I think he kept on saying how proud he is, you know, and I think uh, for him, uh, you know, he pushed that envelope as high as he could. Uh, you know, he retired, uh, you know, when he was 37, 38 years old, and uh, he said, you know, uh, good luck to you, and, you know, get, get it up there, and there's not many guys that will be able to, to catch you, so that was nice of him.